Koala. Hi, this is Merrick from Elf Audio again, and this is a video with five tips that not everyone knows about koala. Admittedly, they're, they're a little bit hidden, and I think it's important that everyone knows. So the first thing is, if you have a sound, so like this one, and you change the pitch, and you're really struggling to get it back to zero again, you just double tap it and it goes back to its default value. Same with the volume. If I double tap it, it goes back to zero dB. Same with the pan, double tap. Yeah, so that's tip number one. Uh, tip number two is if you have, let's say, a pattern, I'm just gonna play this pattern here. And it's using this sample. And let's say I want to change the pitch of it, but I don't, in order, usually if you want to select a, a sound, it ends up triggering. So if I want to select the bass drum, it plays the bass drum. Now, if you want to grab that bass drum or that snare drum without actually triggering it, you just hold edit down and see how the uh, all the pads start throbbing. And basically if you, if you press another pad, it selects it without triggering. So now I can, change the pitch or double tap to put it back so that's tip number two tip number three is if you want to merge two samples that you like maybe it's like a, a hi-hat and a snare or something so there's a, a hi-hat and that's a snare what you can do is say I'm gonna copy the snare here you can drag the hi-hat on top of the snare and it will ask you do you want to mix the two samples or do you want to add the one you dragged onto the end so we're going to say mix so now we've got kind of hard to hear but it's the same as yeah okay so you can also you know let's say if you want the hi-hat to be a bit louder what you can do is take your bass drum turn it down a little bit take the hi-hat turn it up a bit maybe pitch it down or something i don't know and then just drag that onto there and it will bake those settings that you just made for it into the whole thing. So mix. So you've got you've got those two sounds. Okay, so that's one thing. But also, if you want, you can basically add samples to the end of each other. So if I've got this hi hat sound, let's just reset the the pitch and copy it. You can copy it onto itself and then add to end. And what that's done is it's it's made this sample that's got two hi hats. And you could even add add more, add to end. I mean, if, if you really want to go crazy, you can just copy this and then drag it onto itself, add to end. And now you've got eight. You can pitch that up. Um, yeah, so you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can combine sounds. You can also, if you have something maybe a bit pitched, we we'll just copy this over, turn the loop off. Let's say you want to fatten that sound. What you can do is say make a copy of it and then change the pitch just a little bit. Maybe this is gonna sound bad, we'll find out. Uh oh, it's quite hard to change the pitch a little bit. Um, okay. That sounds terrible. Okay, there you go. You start having this sort of like phasey effect if you play play blow for them at the same time. So we can pan one off to the left. Oh, maybe we we'll just stick them in the middle. But yeah, now you can glue those two together by dropping one onto the other and mix. And you have this like, more phasey thing. Um, yeah, so you can have interesting effects. You can also pitch things. So let's say if you wanted to, um, you could play this a pitch down. And then we're going to copy that over there, pitch it up. And then we're going to drop them both onto here, mix. Okay, sorry. Yeah, basically you, you can't do um, this mixing stuff when there's looping sounds because looping sounds go on forever. So how long do you make the uh, sample? So I'm just going to turn loop off that for that for now. And just drag that onto there. Mix, drag that onto the air. So mix. And what that's done is it's like added uh, an octave down and an octave up onto the same sample. So it's made this really big big sound so maybe if I do that loop thing again maybe add a, some release so that's quite nice it's, it's a really handy technique for just sort of really destroying your samples and turning them into something completely different 
So that was tip three. And tip four is, let's say if you have, it's, it's just combining sequences. So this might be obvious to you, but I need to just make sure everyone knows about it. Let's say we've got this, um, we're gonna make a sequence. So uh, here we go. We're gonna use that sample we made. Um, just gonna make it two bars. So. Very 90s. Okay, so we've got that. And then we've also got this one. It's just a, a drum pattern and we want to merge those and all you have to do is drag one onto the other I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this first and then I'm gonna drag that on onto itself and it's saying mix or add to end we want to mix so now we've got both of those mixed together and now if we want to let's say I have this other one uh, and I want to basically add this one uh, I want to add the other one to the end of this one. Let's make a copy and then drag that on top of there and to end. So now we've got a pattern which is this one, then this one. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's tip number four. And then, yeah, like tip number five, I guess this this one's really not that obvious. I think most people know the clear button. If you have, let's say, a, um, a pattern and you want to get rid of that pattern um, you, you highlight it and then and then you press clear and it says do you want to clear the sequence okay and it's gone but what what you can do obviously there's not a lot of editing in Koala and and it's sort of by design I, I want you to not be too precious about um, the music you're making and just sort of get on with it it's like this hardly any undo there's there's no rewind it's just like you go for it but if you do have a sample like one of the pads that you press that you don't want in your sample anymore you can get rid of it by if you let's say we have this one here so, so we want to get rid of that that weird um, sound that we made what you can do is just hold clear down and tap the pad you want to remove and then it just removed that you can't undo that but um you know, you have to be sure when you're doing it in the first place. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, tip number five. Um, thank you very much. And uh, that's it.